Los Angeles, AP. The Little Mermaid made moviegoers want to be under the sea on Memorial Day weekend. Disney's live-action remake of its 1989 animated classic easily outswam the competition, bringing in $95.5 million on 4,320 screens in North America, according to Studio Estimates Sunday. And Disney estimates the film starring Halle Bailey as the titular mermaid Ariel and Melissa McCarthy as her sea witch nemesis Ursula will reach $117.5 million by the time the holiday is over. It ranks as the fifth biggest Memorial Day weekend opening ever. It displaces Fast X in the top spot. The tenth installment in the Fast and Furious franchise starring Vin Diesel has lagged behind more recent releases in the series, bringing in $23 million domestically for a two-week total of $108 million for Universal Pictures. In its fourth weekend, Disney and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 made an estimated $20 million in North America to take third place. It's now made $299 million domestically. The performance of The Little Mermaid represents something of a bounce back for Disney's animated to live action remakes and makes it likely they will keep coming indefinitely. Poor reception and the pandemic had some recent reboots either performing poorly or skipping theatrical releases for Disney Plus, including Dumbo, Mulan, and Pinocchio. It works as long as the movies deliver, said Paul Dergarabedian, senior media analyst for Comscore. It's great for Disney to be able to go to their archive by reviving these titles that started off as huge hits in the animated realm. Audiences thought it did deliver. The film had an A cinema score, and according to exit polling had more ticket buyers between ages 25 and 34 than children, suggesting nostalgic adults were essential. The multi-generational component of this cannot be overstated, Dergarabedian said. Critics were more lukewarm. The movie is currently at 67% on Rotten Tomatoes. In her review, Lindsay Barr of the Associated Press called it a somewhat drab undertaking with sparks of bioluminescence that, like too many of the Disney remakes, prioritized nostalgia and familiarity over compelling visual storytelling. She said Bailey, half of the sister R&B duo Chloe X. Halley, still shone with a lovely presence and superb voice. Directed by Rob Marshall with a reported budget of $250 before marketing, the Little Mermaid tells the story of a yearning, wayward daughter who cuts a devil's deal to swap her fins for a pair of legs. It features the songs from Alan Menken and Howard Ashman, including Part of Your World and Under the Sea, that helped the original film spark a Disney animation renaissance in the 1990s. Fourth place went to Universal's The Super Mario Brothers movie, which keeps reaching new levels in its eighth weekend. Now available to rent on VOD, it still earned $6.3 million in theaters. Its cumulative total of $559 million makes Mario and Luigi the year's biggest earners so far. Comics couldn't stand up to Ariel as the week's other new releases sank.